Hi, Assalamualaikum and good day to everyone. So today I'm going to explain about transform and conquer. There is another approach in solving a problem. So what is a transform and conquer? The definition of transform and conquer basically is just another approach or strategy to solve a problem. There are basically two steps using this approach. The first one is to transform the problem into an easier or family form. As usual, as we are doing an analysis of an algorithm, the problem usually comes from the input, type of input, size of input, and etc. So basically, we transform our input into an easier form or into a family of problems. Then we solve the problem. There are three variations of transform and conquer. Uh, the first one is instance simplification. We simplify the instance, simplify the input. The second one is to change representation, to change the uh, input or instances into another representation that is easier uh, to be solved. And the third one is to reduce the problem. As we are now in the lockdown uh, time during April 2020, so we can easily remember this as a COVID virus. Okay, We can transform them into another um, types of instances or family shape. This is durian fruits which is very popular in Asian and after we change or transform that into a familiar instances then we can conquer them. Just eat the durians. Right. So this is our input for algorithm. The problem instances. We put that into algorithm by using a transform and conquer. So we can either uh, uh, simplify the instances or change it into another representation or change it into another problem instances and then we solve it so the simpler instances okay we can look at it using a pre-sorting technique which will be covered in this uh, lecture video as well change your input into another representation we can look at a heap sort algorithm Horner's rule and binary exponentiation and the third one to change into another problem instances, for example, in computing least common multiple, counting path in a graph, a reduction to optimization problem, and reduction to graph problem. Okay, so let's look at the first uh, variation of transform and conquer, that is instance simplification. We simplify the input by using a pre sort technique. The first example is to check element uniqueness in an array. Basically, you want to know whether the element, the array, is unique or not. So, given uh, this list with 10 elements, okay, how do we check if uh, that is a unique or not? So, the brute force idea, basically, we take the first element and check whether it's the, uh, the rest of the array if there is any similar uh, value. Then the second round, take the second instances and check until the end and so on until the last instances. So this means we have to do looping for each element. So this basically is n squared. So let's look at the uh, uh, algorithm. If we apply a sorting first, that is what we call as pre-sort, we sort it first. Okay, so algorithm pre-sort. First, we sort the array. So we can use any sorting techniques that we have learned before and we know that the best sorting technique is n log n. So sort the array A and from that, after we have a sorted element, okay, like this, then we can scan. So it's become simpler because you can almost immediately know whether an element has uh, is a unique or not because you can just check next to it if it's a similar value or not all right so you don't have to look into until the end of the element for each element in the array all right so uh, for this type of algorithm okay the end of n comes from the sorting okay and then for the four loops you only have to do one loop that is n okay and then the total is n log n because 
the algorithm is dominated by sorting not by scanning uh, process all right now let's look example two to compute a mode basically you want to know what is the most frequent element appear in a list so given example is a seven element five one five seven six five seven what is the mode okay as a human we can count the mode is five because it appears three times what is your brute force idea to solve this we can scan the list and compute the frequencies of all distinct values so how to improve how to implement the brute force okay we store the values that already counted along with the frequencies in a separate list for example we have the first element 5 and then we scan it okay and then uh, we will count how many times 5 appear and we store it in the frequency list and then we look at the second element uh, again we scan to the rest of it to find if there is any uh, recurrence store in the frequency list and then we go to the next element 5 we already have it here then go to the next 7 and so on so what is the worst input what is the worst case scenario that means all elements are unique okay so the frequency list will be uh, 11111 one, one, one. so by using a brute force we have to do uh, two looping okay in a loop uh, so we have n squared so if we implement pre-sorting we sort the array first so all equal values will be adjacent to each other so it's similar with the previous example okay so we sort the element sort the array okay and then from the sorting array we have a uh, complexity of n log n and then for while loop because we have to only uh, compute the mode of frequency okay just one time we have we don't have to do inner looping so it's n so the total is n log n so again the problem is dominated by sorting okay not comparison to scan how many uh, recurrence of n element So that's all for now. Um, we'll continue with the next example. Thank you.